What's going on Foodie Ohana? Welcome back to our Japan travel series. For today's episode, we're gonna be enjoying an all-you-can-eat 100% Wagyu Yakiniku. And before that guys, we are gonna be walking around and eating our way through Tokyo. So let's get going. We're starting off our day eating in a very small hole in the wall spot. Very inconspicuous residential. You would have easily missed it. It's right here. Alright guys, so we're at a discreet soba shop called Tama Warai. Literally the first floor of like a house. That's what it looks like. And guys, this place before coming here we did not know, but they previously won a Michelin star. So we're even more ecstatic now to try their soba out. And a little fun fact, the chef and owner here cultivates his own soba or buckwheat in his home prefecture. How crazy is that? So he cultivates it and hand makes the soba noodles every day. And this is a very, very small restaurant, so I feel like I'm projecting my beliefs. We'll see when the food comes out. All right, Fudiwana, this restaurant is very, very quiet, so please enjoy this ASMR. It's gonna be our first time doing ASMR, but maybe it might be cool since this place is so quiet. First thing they brought out is this thing called yaki miso. Basically, it just means grilled miso. It's miso paste with chopped up vegetables that's grilled, and it becomes this little pancake thing. It smells really, really good. Looks nicely caramelized on the edges, very soft on the inside. Mm. Oh, it's so good. It's very salty. When it first came out, I was a little disappointed at how small it was, but it's so flavorful. You don't want too much of this. It's gonna overpower everything else you're eating. The vegetables are chopped very finely. And the top is very charred, which gives it a nice, flavor so we got our bowls of noodles so i got one of their signature dishes which is soba with tofu originally i wanted tempura but they ran out for the day it's very very popular so come early homemade silk and tofu with bonito flakes on top and it's on a bed of soba cold soba and i got a raw egg and natto sheets of little ripped up nori and green onion and these soba noodles look so good and also bonito flakes on top the noodles look so buckwheaty like they're nice deep color do you see these noodles very savory the buckwheat flavor is very strong the bonito flakes really shine through here this also has a little sauce on the inside Buckwheat noodles, the soba noodles, is the best I've ever had. It's so bouncy, so chewy. It's not as bouncy as ramen noodles, but it has a very nice, al dente consistency. You can tell that the noodles are very fresh. And I love that he hand cuts the noodle. And tofu is almost like a custard-like consistency. It's very smooth. It's cold, so it goes perfectly well with the cold soba, especially today because it is hot outside. This is the biggest pieces of natto I've ever seen. The tzu is very light, fragrant. It goes perfectly with the noodles. It brings out the bucket flavor. And lastly, you pour the soba water, the noodles they cook the soba, into your bowl, and you finish it like a soup. Ah, 
Chiso-sama this. Right? Go Chiso-sama. How'd you guys like our little ASMR action? <laughs> Drop a comment down below if you guys would like to see more ASMR type of eating content. Yeah, that was like the perfect place to do an ASMR. Mm, but we are still hungry and dinner reservations aren't until later tonight. So, more food content coming your way. So we're at a place called Gyoza Ru or not sure. We'll link everything down as usual. But they do one thing and one thing only here, which is gyoza. AKA pot stickers, aka dumplings. And you know we love our gyozas here on the channel. So we had to stop by. And it's very, very affordable. An order of six is only starting at 340 yen. That's like dirt cheap. That's unheard of back home. I got a steamed dumpling. And this is in the original flavor. Yeah. They have three flavors. Original, garlic and chives, and shiso. Mm -hmm. I think I put a little too much spice, but I'm gonna try it. I put a lot in mine. How can you not love dumplings? Your usual minced pork, cabbage, a little bit of ginger in there. Very simple, very satisfying. If you're here for lunch, you can also order this as a set with rice and a soup. We just got the dumplings. Just wanted to try purely the dumplings. I think I see my pan-fried gyozas coming up. Oh, is this a thing of beauty? All right, so I guess I'll try the garlic one. You try the shiso. Mm. Mm. Compared to the original, the garlic one is very garlicky. So, for you garlic lovers, that's the gyoza for you. The shiso one is very herbaceous. It almost tastes like minty or lots of herbs. The wrapper, like the way that over here they make it so thin, amazing. Sometimes at home it could be like too thick and too chewy. Have you guys caught the last video when we were in Hokkaido? Sapporo and I went to venture on my own and I had those Hokkaido gyozas. I think those are a little bit better than this, but this is still as good. This is more of your traditional size. It's about like this size. They cook it perfectly here. It's very nicely crispy and fried on the bottom. Nice and steamed, soft on the top. I could easily eat three dozens. I think I personally like the original. Mm, definitely get the garlic and chives. That's where it's at. And at this gyoza spot, it's kind of like a no frills kind of gyoza. Very simple. Sometimes the simplest can be the most delicious. Furi Ohana, we are back in Shinjuku area. Going down this kind of random alleyway in search for awesome man could just use a nice bowl of dipping noodles not so random alleyway anymore we see the lines now so we just ordered through the vending machine there's a long line so i paid gave her my tickets and our food should be ready by the time we're sitting on we are here at a place called gonokami seisakujo known for their shrimp tsukemen or dipping noodles tight space in here guys only countertop seating it smells good already we even have a sign here showing you how to eat skin in if it's your first time and it's animated by a fish so it says to first eat the noodles without the broth and appreciate the noodles and then try the soup then dip the noodles in your soup but try not to put too much at a time that's my pro tip for you guys because the noodle then gets soggy as well to reduce the casualty rating when you are sleeping. Oh my god, this looks amazing. Felix got the special shrimp dipping noodles. His one has extra meat such as chicken and also bamboo shoots along with cheese. I got the shrimp dipping noodles with flavored egg. I'm gonna try the noodles first. Very light noodle flavor. The noodles are super good. It's like barely done. Super authentic. 
Oh, very stinky. Wow, it looks like a small dry shrimp, full of that flavor. And it's a thicker broth too because it's the skin. It's very savory. If you like shrimp flavor, it's like really, really, really shrimpy. It's almost buttery too. It's so rich. It's very rich, but that's why it's perfect with the noodles. Oh, this is really good. I love how the noodles just soak up all the broth. Coats it nice and evenly. If you guys ever had the cup of Simon or cup noodle shrimp flavor, times that by a thousand and this is what you get. The cheese makes it even more creamier. So there's pork and chicken in this broth. The chicken has a ginger taste. Wagyu Yakiniku and we're super super excited. Japan is known for Wagyu because it's a really really fatty piece of meat. We're doing it all you can eat. So this is literally all you can eat Wagyu. This place is called Rokkasen. There's two different restaurants. So we're at the Annex location and it is an all you can eat or I think you can choose um, a la carte as well. First let's put on our bib. Look at this it's so cute. Wow, let's put it on. All right, food and So the way it works is they're gonna bring out an initial set of different cuts of wagyu first to see what you like, and you can order later on the iPad for more. They also have these nice bibs. Oh, I believe Amanda mentioned it, but look how awesome this is. You can also add on all you can drink sets. For example, the soft drinks is only 900 yen, seven dollars after conversion. All you can drink. So you already know, Coke Zero all night long, and also for the alcoholic beverages, 1800 yen, which is only about 15. Dollars or so. What a deal. And also what we love about Rokosen here is they have English friendly menus as well so you don't have to feel intimidated. Just sit, order Wagyu, drink all the Coke Zeros and have a good time. So it looks like they already brought out our initial set. They have a filet right here, the ribeye. Probably my most favorite piece. They also brought out some beef tongue. Wagyu beef tongue. Ooh. It's so fatty. Wagyu is so fatty that it's gonna have a nice sizzle and char. This part right here. Look how beautiful this thing looks. Ooh, it's just oozing. It's melting right under the heat of the grill. Because when it comes to Wagyu, the marbling on the beef is unmatched. Also, a pro tip for Wagyu, depending on how you like your meats, they cook extremely fast. So if you like it more on the rare side, I suggest searing it on each side and you're done. You're good to go. You guys, as I mentioned earlier, after the initial set comes out, you can order through that little tablet and it comes out quick. I wanted to try the riblet or the rib meat part. That's really like, that's probably the most tender part of a cow. And look, it came out super fast. Not as fatty, but super tender. As a part of the all you can eat, you can even order vegetables as well. So we ordered a bunch of vegetables on the side. I'm here for the meat, you guys already know. Oh my goodness guys, look how fatty this piece is right here. This should be a work of art, like you should just take a picture of this, frame it on your wall. This is how beef should look like. Can I put the vegetables on? Sure, yeah. Mando can do that segment. Alright guys, I'm going to try the ribeye meat first. So I love my ribeye, that's my absolute favorite cut of meat. No sauce, nothing, just the one. Literally just disintegrated in my mouth. If you guys haven't tried Wagyu before, please, please do yourselves a favor. Rokasen, it's only about $90 a person. That sounds like a lot, but for this type of meat, it is so worth it. It is actually more on the affordable side. The next piece I'm gonna try is the filet part. Oh. Oh. It's just so fatty. Each bite just coats your palate, coats your tongue with that beef fat. So, so amazing. You gotta eat some rice to balance it out. 
super tender. It's not gonna be as fatty, but super tender. I can already tell by picking it up. The pressure of my tongs is just almost ripping through the meat. This is what Amanda thinks of the Wagyu. I'm gonna go in for my first Wagyu right here. Just plain, maybe some salt. This was the short rib, right? Mm. Oh. Guys, Wagyu in Japan mm. is so different from America, Hawaii, American Wagyu. It literally melts in your mouth. It does have a nice bite to it as well. It's not just literally melting, but I just love the fatty pieces. If this is an all-you-can-eat place, like, are you kidding me? You can tell that Japan puts so much pride in their beef. It's amazing. Definitely, even if you don't come to this restaurant, just go eat Japanese Wagyu in Japan. You will not be disappointed. And here too, they do have a Korean style type of banchan situation going on. So we did order some kimchi banchan. You can also get the lettuce with soybean paste. And you can get a salad as well. So I like to get a piece of lettuce. I like to put some soy paste on it like that. A little piece of kimchi on there. And then you go in with your wagyu like that. Oh my goodness. Just simplicity. I'm sad that we didn't eat this place sooner. We should have landed in Japan and came here straight away. It's also ahead of time. We did book reservations online. So it was a really, really easy process. They do have like an English friendly website. And also the staff here does speak a little English. And if not, there are English menus. Like we mentioned, this iPad, there's a function to do it in English. And you do all your ordering here as well. So it's very, very simple. Also, I did want to mention there's a yuzu sauce and a sweet soy sauce. Everything you do got to order on the tablet, even the rice, the lettuce, the banchans, and the drinks as well. So keep that in mind. This is our second time here from our previous trip. So we're super excited to be back and it has not disappointed at all. They're super attentive here. They're quick, they're fast. Once you order on the tablet, it comes out lickety split and they change out the grill. They're constantly monitoring. Very great service. Guys, we are in Wagyu Japanese beef heaven. Because if you leave dinner looking like you got shiny lip gloss on, it's okay because it's beefy lip gloss. I love that they don't give you too much of one order either. So whatever cuts of meat looks good, just order one order. Make a mental note if you like that type of cut, then order it again. It's like the best bite of a ribeye, but every bite. And to round off the meal tonight, our all-you-can-eat that we got comes with some hot black tea and a mochi ice cream. Mochi ice cream. Mm. Vanilla on the inside. It tastes like a marshmallow. It's very, very light. It's not super duper heavy or anything. Perfect for this heavy wagyu meal tonight. But I love that our meal comes with dessert at the end. Right, Furio Hana, that about wraps up today's episode. We really hope you guys enjoyed it. We sure did. We're exhausted <laughs> and beefed yes. out. As Felix says, beefy Wagyu cologne on. So we're about to shower, hit the sack, and we'll see you again tomorrow for more Japan travel content. But actually not tomorrow. We'll see you guys on the next the one. The next video. Give this video a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Join our Furio Hana, and we'll see you on the next video. All right, Furio until the next one. Explore your inner foodie. Peace out. Bye, guys. Good night. So it turned. So the owner, so the chef and owner here at Tami Wada went. Oh, I didn't see where we were. Let me start over again. Tami Wada. Good <laughs> thing for the bib, but I saved the. I would have been. I would have been wearing that. I'm gonna take this home. Just kidding. Don't take the bibs home. So the first thing they brought home. ASMR.
softer. Softer. So the so so the first so, <laughs> so the first thing they brought up. Maybe some salt. Oh, is there salt? Are they looking for salt? What is that? It's still pretty hard though. Just put it on the grill. No, no, no. 